Alright. Today is Thursday. Thursday, we're going to talk about treatment Thursday. Um, so, I want to talk about constipation. Now, we have a patient with constipation. We actually have quite a, quite a few of patients with constipation. And they've tried different supplements, they've tried different medications, they've tried changing their diets, and you know, they're still constipated. And some of them, you know, feel like they're three months pregnant. And this is men also. Some of them are just their abdomen is just extended because they're retaining so much toxins that they're they look like they're three months pregnant. So obviously they're not. And so there's a simple fix on how to what I call float your boat. So there's a reason why everybody knows you gotta eat fiber to move your bowels, right? If you're constipated, you wanna eat fiber to move your bowels. And if you imagine this is fiber, fiber bulks up the stool. And if we imagine this is your intestines, let me see if we can get this closer so you can see. So, it's a little more, there you go. So if you imagine these are your intestines and these little orange, these are little orange, these little sensors, they detect, um, these, this fiber will hit, let me just say, this big fiber will hit these sensors and it causes the intestines to squeeze, it's called peristalsis. So they'll squeeze and they'll push the, 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 the bowels forward, right? But then when you eat something like animal protein, animal protein has no fiber. So when it's broken down, it looks like mush. Mush is all sticky and it sticks and basically what happens is it sticks down here and it stays down here and here in the u.s a lot of people like to eat a big dinner and like to have a lot of animal protein in the dinner and so what happens is at night this sludge stays in your intestines and it ferments and it starts to make some beer for you right so no wonder they call it the beer belly right because you're fermenting beer from your animal protein so a simple fix is just you want to increase your vegetable intake your vegetables and your uh, fruit intake. And you also want to add some more water. So if you imagine this little thing is, is your boat, right? So how do you move the boat down to, through the intestines? You can just add more water and it will float your boat. That's why I mean float your boat, right? That's one way of doing that. But you can also make your boat bigger. If you, mo if you make your boat bigger, which is the fiber, right? Then it can stimulate those sensors and it can squeeze, it can push your, your boat forward by squeezing, called peristalsis, right? And so you can either float your boat with more, wa with more water or increase the size of your boat by increasing the fiber. So these are simple things that we may, you know, we hear all over and over, and it still works. These information, it's good information because it still works. You don't need to go for the metamucil, you don't need to go for the laxatives. Just change your diet. Decrease the animal protein. Uh, animal protein also is acidic. So acidic causes your intestinal walls to swell up. When it swells up, of course it's not gonna function uh, as well. So decrease your animal protein at night, spe specifically at dinner, and you wanna increase your vegetable, mostly your vegetable intake and your uh, fruit intake because fruits get have digestive enzymes which can help you break your food down but you need that fiber to stimulate the sensors in your intestines so that your intestines squeeze and it pushes your boat forward. Um, and you also wanna add some water so you have actually, your boat can actually float on something and float through your intestines, right? So simple thing, simple solution, had a patient try this and instantly she had a bowel movement. Uh, instantly her bloating starting to decrease. And so it's just miraculously, food is medicine, guys. All you gotta do is use food and you can actually start healing yourself. All right, Jimmy Yen from Achieve Integrative Health.